why does the black man serve the white man? Why does everything the black man do benefit the white man? Why does the black man say freedom is doing what I want to do? And why is it that everything he wants to do enriches the European? Welcome to the desert of the real. So, mm. Hollow, what do you? What is your thought? Well, just off the top, I was looking at um, statistically. Um, they say that half of the country can't afford a five hundred dollar emergency, and there are three hundred million people in America, approximately. And they say half of them can't afford a five hundred dollar emergency. Word. Um, the average salary is somewhere like I don't even think it's fifty thousand. I think it's like thirty something thousand. It's like forty thousand. Yeah, something like that. Yep. So in a traditional relationship, the man um, is the one who is the breadwinner and the woman is the one usually taking care of the home and she's not the breadwinner. If she does, if she's making any money, it's just supplemental. If the guy was to lose his um, way of, of bringing in money, then the family would suffer. Right. So already try applying traditionalism into today's society. It doesn't work. Right. Both men and women have to work. You need two salaries in order to survive. Right. So a lot of these guys is talking about traditional this and alpha this and da, 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 and it sounds really good, <laughs> but they're not yeah. they're not applying it to what's going on in the world today. And I the way that I look at it in terms of um, just relationships in general, I won't even say um, helpmate per se. I'll just say relationships is that there is no one size fits all to relationships. It all depends on what you and that person, what type of agreement you guys come to. Because I know for me, like like. Um, I've always been supportive of the person because I think everybody should have something that they're passionate about. And I want a woman that's passionate about something, you know, even if it's cool, because there's some women that's passionate, like, um, take for instance, like my mom used to love, she she was a traditional woman through and through. I mean, she used to come, I used to come over to my <laughs> my house and flap, she'd be cleaning my house up and cleaning the kitchen. Hmm. I'm like, what? Like she just, and that's what she loved to do. She loved to make the house the home her own she loved to cook for the family and stuff like that and that's cool so it, she, that was her passion um but you're gonna meet women who's passionate maybe about something business-wide you know what i mean so it all depends on on you the two people and what they want me my overall take on it is from my perspective looking at people who's been married for long periods of time and people who are married it is. when you look at those couples do you think that that woman is with that man because um He's able to wine and dine her and fly her to Dubai. <laughs> right. No. Do you think that guy is with that woman because, oh, when she puts on that negligee, you know, oh, my God. Do you think that's the reason when they get to be 70, 80 years old, that that's the reason why they're still together? Right. Obviously, the reason why they're together because they love each other. They love and respect each other. They want that person in their life. When I leave this earth, I want you, I want to be holding your hand. At the end of the day, that's what it's all about. So what I want is companionship. I want, I want, uh, because I got my shit together. I want somebody to have their shit together. And the reason why we're together mostly is for companionship. I don't deny that the, the financial aspect of it, because you need two salaries and blah, blah, blah. We understand that, especially if the two people aren't making like a six figure income. But for the most part, when I look at it, I want um, companionship. That's what I want. And I want to be able to support the person that I'm with and whatever they're trying to do. And my only caveat to it is this. If I, me personally, don't have the time to invest in that relationship, then I'm not going to be in one. And I expect the same from the woman. So, yeah, I want you to take care of me. I ain't, I, I'm not that supportive. <laughs> I'm going to sacrifice. I want you to cook. I want you, I want you to do the things that traditional women does. Yes. It's like my brother was big on that. He said, I don't, he said, I can't, I can't use anything that's not working. If a watch ain't working, I can't put it on. So you better know how to do that. You better know how to cook. You better know how to, because I'm not doing all that shit. <laughs> and I expect to be taken care of just like a woman expects to be taken care of. I'm not going to sacrifice that. So that's my only thing. You can't compare to the status right here. Legendary worldwide. We can battle right here. Listen, Junior, I'm a tear back and win. This ain't TV, but I'll show you what a fear factor is. Stop grilling me. And all that fronting is killing me. You leave me no choice but to hurt your feelings, G. About to slap rappers around the brew.